If you are installing a Victron DC to DC charger into your van or motorhome and also installing one of our OPS batteries or a custom DIY uh, lithium ion phosphate battery using the components that we sell in our shop, then these are the settings that I would recommend for your DC to DC charger made by Victron. And so one of the, just as a quick aside before we get into it, one of the things that I love about the Victron DC to DC charger and all of the Victron gear for that matter is uh, they have spent a lot of time and they are very good on having the right charge profiles for the different types of chemistry of batteries that are available. And so that's, I believe, one of the reasons why they have such a strong brand is because their chargers and charging systems are very good. And generally the charge profiles are very good and have very good safe settings that will uh, firstly offer safety in terms of not overcharging or discharging or whatever the case is, but equally uh, offer long-term life for your battery because it will not overcharge and it'll uh, keep it within a thread that will give your battery a longer life, especially lithium. And so these are the type of settings that we use. So I'll put a little thing up on the screen so you can see the settings on the uh, charger here. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the type of alternator that you have in your vehicle. So smart alternator or a regular alternator. And essentially this is usually governed by the age of the vehicle. If you have an older vehicle, it's probably going to be a regular alternator. Um, or if it's a more modern vehicle, it's going to be a smart alternator. Uh, the second and setting then is to ensure that you have the correct charge profile. So uh, Victron call this a battery preset. And uh, what I would recommend is that you don't just let the charger interpret what it thinks is right for the battery. I would definitely predefine and say, okay, it's definitely a lithium ion phosphate battery or AGM or whatever the case is. Uh, but what we usually use uh, for our batteries, and this is what I would recommend for our OPS batteries and for a DIY battery if you use the same components as we sell on our web store, is the Smart Lithium or Life PO4 option uh, and the factory default. So. Um, I would usually say charger enabled and you also want to ensure that your charger is enabled that it's not just a power supply uh, but this gives a good charge profile so uh, absorption voltage of 14.2 volts and a float voltage of 13.5 volts and the default settings in terms of the bulk time limit, uh, re-bulk voltage offset all that sort of stuff um, I think is perfectly fine for our batteries. And so if I was installing a Victron DC to DC charger into my van, and in the coming months, this is what I'm gonna be installing into the fire truck build, uh, these are the settings that I would go with. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, anything you wanna know, reach out to us or leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.